Okay, this is very tricky. I don't think he should lose this game, though, because he's up one. Oh, take! Take! Yes! 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 Okay, he's got plenty of time. He should win this game. All right, everybody. Um, so, yeah. So, the tournament's starting in eight seconds. First game begins very, very soon. I will turn on TTS potentially after after the tournament, uh, but I'm not sure yet if I will or I won't. I can do it in Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite I can always play, but Fortnite feels a little bit dank lately. So, um, so we'll see. Okay, I'm playing this guy, 2465. Let's play a Karo Khan here. Good luck, yes. Good luck to everybody who's in the tournament. Good luck to myself, obviously, as well. I want to win today. So so let's see. Okay, I'm going to move the bishop, move the pawn, move the bishop, move the knight. Sorry, not there. Um, let's just drop back and capture. Um, knight e2 is a good move. I'm going to go here, here, and here, I think, just to develop. Let's go here. So I will take with this pawn, of course. Now I attack this pawn, I get a very nice pawn clump in the center. Like, you know, I've got this like pawn clump. It's gonna be an interesting formation. Uh, FM stands for Fide Master. So FM is Fide Master, um, which is what you get when you're about 2,300 points or 2,300 essentially. So um, yeah, I've, I've got the pawn clump here and I'm just gonna push the pawns and create like this weird, like, I don't know what you call it, some weird, weird triangle. Um, okay, let's move the queen. I guess I can go here, here. I think I'll move the queen here right off and I'll just castle. This way I keep an eye on the pawn. I can always move my bishop as well. Okay, I just castle. Oh, I should have moved the pawn maybe, but I have this move. Okay, g3 doesn't look right. I can also smack the center here with this pawn. Um, and now if he captures, I just capture. I can also capture at some point because he's going to have problems with the king and the queen. Can't really go this way because he's already being eyed by my rook here. Okay, goes bishop e3. I can push the pawn. I can push this pawn. I can also push this pawn, maybe. Um, I can also capture and go. I think I'm just going to capture and go here. I force off the bishop. Did he capture? I move the king. That doesn't look right. I think I just move my king out of the way. Now, he can't go this way. If he goes this way, like I said before, I'm eyeing everything on this side of the board. He's got big issues. Okay, now, here I think I should play maybe here, here, maybe here, here. I think I'm going to go here, attack the rook. And then probably I'm gonna move the queen. I have lag. No, I definitely don't have any lag. Um, if, if you're if you're dropping frames, that's uh, it's on your end. Let's move the knight up here. And I'm gonna try to put the knight back here and attack the bishop. Okay. Now the problem for white here is that now that he's moved both rooks, his king kind of can't go either way, and it's stuck in the center. Um, did anyone else think it said tilted Tuesday at first? Yeah, I mean it's very that's a very common thing to think that it says tilted Tuesday. Uh, many people have already commented on that uh, on multiple occasions. Okay, so here I think I should move this. Um, it's not so easy to prove. I'm definitely better, but it's. Hmm. Five h five doesn't look right. Maybe I'll just try to trade some rooks here. Please talk in XQC and, and Bok Bok ling lingo. Sorry, box box. You mean not Bok Bok? You mean box box? Um. Thank you to Pass Pawns for the 18 months. Thank you to Isram for getting us up to Rexy as well. Thank you so much again. Pass Pawn, 18 months, a year and a half. Thank you so much for all the support. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, misreading the title for Tilted instead of Titled is, is very common. I've seen that happen many, many times. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, 18 months. I know, that's a long time. Can bring the knight and attack the bishop. He can't capture the pawn, so I capture the rook. He moves, so I capture. Can't can't capture with the queen. Bishop c1. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to get some advantage here. So I'm gonna push the pawn, create the pawn pawn clump, and now I want to push the pawn and sauce him with this, especially because now he has issues. If he captures, I can capture. I can boom, bing, bang him. And if he moves the pawn, I go here and then I bang him there. Um, so it's it's looking really really good. yeah <laughs> yes chat exactly okay let's just capture and i will capture wait this is bad i take you can't capture because i take okay so obviously i'm i should be winning here i just need to be a little bit precise maybe i sacrifice and go here 
Yeah, I think I... Queen c2. Yeah, because when he captures, I go here to bang his bishop and his queen. If he captures, I just capture. If he moves the queen, I capture with check. If he moves the bishop, I capture there, and then I capture here. And now I win this, or I win this, so it should just be winning. <laughs> Excuse yeah, El Goblino is in the ceiling for inspiration. Yes, chat, exactly. Um, what is this man? <laughs> what is this man? <laughs> Okay, moves the rooks, and I think I can just capture and go down. Um, let me make sure there are no tricks. Yeah, I don't see any tricks here. So I'm threatening check to win the queen. Goes here, now I can capture. I can also move the bishop. Let me make sure that I don't blunder here. I just move the bishop back here. Because now he's no rook move, because I cover the square where he would create the right triangle and checkmate me. What? Check, I go here. I don't understand this. He captures, I just cap sure. Yeah, he just he just he's kind of just confused. It's capture. Yeah, he's just confused, chat. Anyway, yeah, so um, let's bring the queen back. Those of you who are just popping in, of course, um, big shout out to everybody who's watching. Hope you're all having a great start to your Tuesday afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We're playing in this tournament called Title Tuesday, so it's a 10-round tournament. First prize is $500. Um, it is 10 rounds of three minutes plus one second increment. This is competitive chess, so probably like TTS and some of the other things will be a little bit, um, little bit slow today. Help me, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, yeah. Let's go. Uh, I guess I go here and capture um, but yeah, so anyway, if you're just tuning in, we're playing this, this competitive tournament, so this does have a lot of grandmasters. The, the vibe will be a little bit more serious, not crazy serious, but a touch more serious since the tournament <laughs> kind of matters a little bit. Okay, now I think I just go um, check, check, and check, and I bring my, okay. See, I think I just bring my queen back and make a check here. <laughs> I've had enough, let me move, yeah. Make a check. Push the pawn up. What time does this start? We're playing the tournament right now, chat. This is round one. So you can see uh, you can see the scoreboard um, right next to the, the image. So so it's just tournament started. This is this is round one. How do I move? <laughs> okay, let's go here. Uh, I'm going to push pawn, I think. Oh my gosh, I blundered this. What? Um... Uh, Let's go check. Let's go here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna win the game now, chat, so no worries. Um, <laughs> okay, now I make a check, he has to trade, and then I make a queen. I have like, I've got four pawns, he's got nothing, so he resigns. Okay, so one up, one down, um, so far so good. Tell Boxbox Box to stop. He's, he's been on for 17 hours and he hasn't slept yet. It's great to see that he's playing. And, you know, chat, like a lot of people, you know, even people who aren't big fans of chess, one thing I would say that really shows how great of a game chess is, is that, like, even if, even if you're not at the absolute top, like, it's very addictive. It's a fun game. Like, you're trying to improve. You're trying to gain the knowledge base. So um, so it's really, really nice to see. It's, it's fantastic. Um Thank you to uh, JNor44 for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to Staxmix for the Tier 1. Thank you to he Hecatonic for the Prime. Thank you to One Kiss Snail for the $3. Easy Clap 190 IQ. Thank you to One Kiss Snail. Um, as I mentioned before with the Donos, I don't have TTS on, so if you're expecting a TTS, just wait till, wait till later on. I made Box Box an Addict. Yes, chat. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, it's fantastic. It really is fantastic to see um, see see big streamers uh, who really really do like like chess. How do you develop charisma? Um, I, I think charisma or like what is it? Is it was it? Didn't Stephen Colbert do something? I thought Stephen Colbert did something that's like on gravitas maybe. So um, so uh, so I think I think it's like it's just confidence. That's all it is. Um, so so yeah. So so right chat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, chat. That was an intentional troll. Um, obviously, I know that he doesn't. <laughs> I know that he doesn't pronounce it Colbert. That that was an intentional troll, chat. Um, that was a total troll. Uh, although, wasn't it? Wasn't he on like with Bill O'Reilly or something? He was on. 
he he was on with he was on with Bill O'Reilly, and I think Bill O'Reilly was calling him Colbert, right? I think Bill O'Reilly called him Colbert or something, something silly when he was on Fox News. So, um, yeah. Um, anyway, chat. All right. Um, oh, little Stevie Colbert, right? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, chat, I'm making a joke. That was an intentional troll, you guys. Obviously, I know that he pronounced it Colbert, but I mean, I think it's just like, just, I don't know, be confident. Believe in yourself, even if, I mean, even if you don't, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, G fuel. Yeah, I have some, I have some G fuel in this, uh, in, in, with, with, I have some G fuel in this. So, um, actually chat, I think I don't, I don't speak Norwegian. So can someone in chat tell me what this says? I don't speak Norwegian. Can somebody tell me what this means? Any Norwegians in the chat? Are there any Norwegians in the chat? I mean, this is some bottle I got at a chess tournament. I got this bottle at a chess tournament. That there was some sponsor, Ivar. I guess they gave out these water bottles, so I, I don't know like what it says. But there must be some <laughs> there there must be someone in chat who's from Norway who can tell me what it says because I, I don't know what it says. Oh, it says you don't get fresher water. Wait, seriously? You you won't get fresher water? <laughs> you won't get fresher water? Oh, that's hilarious, chat. Okay. Um. All right, let's keep going. So this is this is second game. Okay, I'm gonna play knight f3 this game. It says XQC is better than you are at chess, right? Chat, totally. All right, so this is round two. Let's be super serious. Let's try to play good chess. Um, of course, super serious. Like I just I should just shut up. I'm not gonna be super serious no matter no matter no matter what I do. Um, let's go d4. Thank you to E Holterman for the ten dollar tip. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Let's bring the knight out. Maybe d3 and c4. <laughs> Okay, I'll go H3 here. <laughs> it, it says you can't read if your IQ is 102. Touche. Uh, TTS is off because it's a competitive tournament. So because it's a competitive tournament, thank you to Big S23 for the 11 months as well. Uh, since this is competitive, I I do need to focus as 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 much as I can within reason. Um, volume is still low. I think I turned up my microphone, so people said it's good. If there's an issue with the sound, just make sure to turn it up on your end. Um, he should. There's a common saying you capture towards the center. This guy captured away from the center, which was a big mistake. So now I go uh, here. I try to win the pawn. I bring the rook and attack. He's going to have to bring the knight back. Now I bring my rook in. And again, your pawn should be, you should get the clump towards the center, not away from the center. So you never want to capture with pawns away from the center. Uh, the audio is always kind of low. Yeah, I mean, chat, I, I know it's low. And obviously, um, we're going to be doing some, some, we're going to make some changes. Don't worry. Um, probably tomorrow when I have the chance, I'll, I'll start start looking at a couple of things. Um, I think I'm going to play queen b1 and maybe d5 or c5. Um, but yeah, okay, I can play d5 here. If capture, I just capture. Um, I guess I capture here. Okay, now, I mean, he creates big problems. So I go here and here and here. And now his bishop is dead forever. It's stuck behind a wall of pawns. It's like the sniper is like... The sniper is trying to attack, but this this little dude here just stops everything in half a second. Okay, now I just build this. This bishop just stuck behind the pawn, the wall of the pawns. I'm just gonna keep building it here. Build the chain. The little dude, yes, the little dude. Um, do I think Box Box can ever reach what? Can reach two thousand? Yeah, I definitely think he. I definitely think he can. He's got the. He's got the work. He's got the ethic. Like from what I've seen. Well, that's a free pawn if I want. I can also just ignore it. I think I'm just going to capture it though. Um, uh, but, but, but yeah, I guess what I would say is that he can definitely make it. He's got the best ethic of, of like all the people who are um, who I've seen who are like getting into chess. He's got like the most like like I mean this in a good way, but he's got the most like he's got the uh, he's got the kind of like the psychotic like I just want to keep improving. I want to get really good at this game attitude. So, um, so he definitely could get there. Yeah. He's trying, he's trying, he's trying hard. I guess. Yeah. He's trying quite hard because he wants to improve. So, um, so, so yeah, no, he's, he's good though. I like, I like what he's doing. I like what he's doing. Um, I should put something somewhere. I'll put the knight here. Thank you to E Holterman for the $100 tip. Thank you so much. Wait, let me see. Did I, I did I miss that? Thank you so much to E. Holterman for the $100. Thank you. I'm going to bring my queen in, I guess, here. 
Okay, I'm going to capture, capture. Thank you so much. <laughs> 100, 100 uh, eyebrows. Yeah, chat. Uh, rook f8 was not possible chat because after rook takes knight rook takes rook queen takes queen he has a rook that guards the queen not just the knight so i would lose the rook and with it i would lose the game chat but thank you for the suggestion i mean come on chat i mean you might have 140 iq but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you're you're better at chess than me like 140 iq is not better than 102 iq at chess um let's go g4 here <laughs> Okay, now he's trying to fight, actually. I'm not playing this very precisely. Um, I should be a little bit careful, maybe. Can bring the knight in, maybe. Capture, capture, capture. Capture, capture. Check and mate. Wait, so I want to go here, 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 here. If I capture, he captures. So he captures, I capture, capture, capture. He makes a check, I go here, he captures, and I go check. He goes here, and then I go check, mate. So let's go here. Way too dank, way too dank. Um, oh, do I just blunder this? Maybe. Hmm. I guess I just, just capture and capture, I guess. And then capture. So I should be doing relatively well here. It goes here. So I should drop the rook back somewhere. I guess I'll go, I'll go here, I guess, because I guard the bishop. Trying to push his pawn. Okay, so now I think I just quietly sip some tea and just move my king out of the center. I have an IQ of 168, and I was a GM in Quebec for five years. Let's go rook here, and I just capture. I'm threatening checkmate, of course, with the bishop and the rook. The sniper is very good here on B2. So he tries to trade, but the problem is now I have two pawns. He can't stop both pawns here. Compensating for low IQ. Exactly, Chad. I'm totally compensating. Okay, now I just put the bishop to guard the pawn. Now I go here. I take this one, and he loses. Do I think Void Boy is the best streamer of the chess players? Um, At the moment, yes. I haven't seen Hutch play. Do I ever read my own Wikipedia page? No, Chad. I mean, do I look like I'm, I'm, I'm vain? I mean, okay, just for that, we're going to find that. Um, okay, just for that. Okay. take I guess I go um a6 and push the pawn <laughs> yes <laughs> okay resigns okay we keep going two out of two so if he moves the knight here he loses because I push the pawn he brings the king to win this one um and now I go bishop here he takes and I take and I win this one bring the bishop back and I have just three things to just go all the way up the board so we're on two out of two uh eight more rounds to go Many games still going, so it's gonna keep progressively. It's gonna get more and more difficult. So, all right, chat. Um, okay, so there are still what one, two, three. They're like there's still like 20 games going. So I'll just chat with you guys for the next couple of minutes while we wait for the third round. Um, yeah. Uh, but I, I don't I don't go to um I, I don't go to uh go to my um my Wikipedia page very often honestly I, I'm just not vain like that it really doesn't do it for me um but yeah so uh I mean I, I know some people some people TTS is off right now because it's a competitive competitive tournament chat um the, the way I'm gonna do this I'm gonna I'm probably gonna do this um where probably half the days so like three or four of the days of the week I will turn TTS on, on. Other three to four days, I will have it off. I'm going to create some kind of like, I'll create some uh, image, some, some sort of like image or logo or something where I, which, which I'll put on the stream, which says when I have it on and when I have it off. Um, uh, so, so yeah, but this is competitive right now. I had TTS on yesterday if you weren't here in the stream. So um, I will, I will sort of do, uh, I'll probably do like a mix, but, but probably half the time or a little more than half the time I'm going to have it on. So, so yeah. I do like I do like uh, text to speech though. It's, a, it's it's great. So um, box box is playing chess. Yeah. So I saw the box box is playing playing chess. Um, and I, I he's he's been what he's been streaming for what eighteen hours or something. 
I mean, I guess we're waiting, so I'll, I'll pop it up again. Um, let's see. Let me pop it up here. Let me turn off the music while we wait. Um, I'll just mute the song. Let me put this up here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Um, uh, here we go. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, blunder to peace. If he takes, he takes. Good. But if you take this, you lose this. So the only way to try and play this game is to move the queen up, like, up one square. No, you don't trade, because now he's got two knights and a bishop. You have two bishops. You're down one, one bishop here. Um, I, yeah, so it's... Um, he's, he's down one thing here. He's down... He, the guy's got two knights. He's going to have one bishop, so he's like minus three. Thank you, Casino, for the for the continuing to get this sub from Purse Springer. Thank you so much. Um, so he's doing okay, but the problem is he's missing. Yeah, you did lose a piece. You're missing... You're missing... He took the knight, bro. He took the knight. <laughs> okay. Uh, so technically, the king is the same as a pawn. I mean, a king is a piece that has no value, but it's an important piece. So you, you don't want to lose it. How's it going, Racer X? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> this is box box chat he was he was on i was on stream with him last night he's a very prominent streamer uh he was i think i think he was a pro league player i'm not sure if he was actually if he played on on one of those teams but he was uh he, he he's like a riven riven main riven main in league of legends oh game start oh shoot okay here we go okay let's go here sorry chat um let me change the scene um let's go back here we go let's play d5 let's go bishop f5 h5 this is the wrong order though knight of four he played the wrong order he's just down a pawn here it, i'm not missing something he played the wrong order in this opening no this is nonsense um he, moved, he he played the wrong move order so let's see here 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 or rook h4 this should just be good for me after bishop f5 I think I will just play so this in knight c6. If any of you move, I'll... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take... I'll, I'll move the knight. Um... <laughs> I don't know the knight. Sorry, chat. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me again. Trying to say super serious is a competitive tournament. You guys are breaking me, and we're not we're, we're not even like halfway through the event. <laughs> you guys are totally trying to break me already. Um, okay, so he takes with the queen. So I think I bring the knight in probably. Okay, I'm gonna put the knight out. He moves the queen. I go here, probably, or maybe I just go. I made a mess out of this. This is just so good out of the opening. I'll go here in B5. Maybe he can't capture. B5 is 100% my next move. If he takes, I capture. I'm up one piece. So I think I'm doing well. Um, don't, bl <laughs> don't blunder. I'll try not to blunder. Yeah. You're so vain. I bet you think this chess is about you. Yeah, right. Right, chat. Um, let me go back to playlist. Bottom left blunder. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah. So I'm gonna push the pawn. Next move, attack the queen. Queen goes, and I bring the knight in. Um. Um. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's keep. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, is this a casher? Yes, chat. There is um, first prize of a uh, of a uh, of five hundred dollars. Um, okay. Focus, 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 focus. Let's focus. Um, okay, place here so I can push the pawn. I can also move a knight maybe. Now, if I push takes 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 rook d five, I think I'm just winning. 
So captures, captures, capture, 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 queen here, and then bishop here. And I'm going to win the queen. So I think I'm doing well. It's got a capture. I capture. I move the queen here. Now I bring the bishop back to win the queen, win the rook or the queen next move. If I go here. Now, if he moves the rook, I maybe just bring my king out of the center. I can also just move the rook here, probably. Should be winning for me here. I'm just going to ignore it. I just finish the development. I get the king out of this dangerous area of the board. Who supplies the winnings? Uh, Chess.com is the main sponsor. So Chess.com, um, they pay out the prize money. Now I can take, I can also just be, it's going to be simple with rook c8 here. Uh, thank you to Jerky's minion for the $5. XUC would just bing, bang, boom it. Yeah, he totally would. Um, okay, so... If I take, if he captures, I bang him on C2 and the king is stuck. If he captures, I just capture and I just have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and I just win. Okay, now I castle and now I just win. I just move the rook up, guard this, and now he's down. He, I have extra. Oh my gosh, should I really just do that? Okay, now, um, hmm. Okay, that's a bad move though, I think, because now I can bring the rook back over and attack this pawn. Blunder berry, yeah, I'm a blundering berry right now. Bring the rook here, try to push push this pawn maybe. Three's no good if I capture. Capture. focus oh wait, you can just go back what am I doing okay I'm gonna go here and capture I guess guess here to guard the pawn Go here and capture. Oh my gosh, what did I do to this? This is unbelievable. Okay, I guess I will go here to attack the pawn. I think I go here to attack the pawn. Maybe just there to attack the pawn. But now I capture. Oh, so bad. So fucking bad. Wait, he misplayed this. Wait a second. No, he didn't. Okay. F5, F4 maybe? So can I somehow win this? Give him king F3. Very bad. He blundered. Ah, come on. Okay, blundered. Now it's game on. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's win this game. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, now it's game on. Or oh, why did I do that? That was so stupid. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm just playing so bad.
Still won that game. Oh, no. Oh, he blundered again. Oh, it's not a blunder. It's still a draw. Oh, I take he is rook b3. A check. Yeah, it's just a draw. Oh, so bad. It was a draw. Very, very bad. I was winning that game the whole way. That was so bad. Oh, that was so bad. That was the one in a hundred. Just blunder the piece. Mm, so bad. Right, let's keep going. Next game. Okay, let's play out of three. Um, it's only the third round. A draw is okay. A loss, a loss is not okay. A draw I can live with at least. A loss I could not live with. Um, okay, so two and a half out of three points. Let's push the pawns up. Um, I should have won that game. That was really, really bad. Um, but but it's, it's okay, Chad. Again, it's only a draw. We're still very early. So um, if I get nine points out of ten, I'll still win the tournament. I just My margin of error goes way down. Um, yeah let's go here i can capture a castle i guess um i guess i'm gonna take here and just castle and move the knight in like knight c3 knight e5 here and it should be good and yeah chad i mean that's the other thing that's very hard about chess is very often if you do something like this um it's very hard to recover like playing the next game let's take move the knight in and capture Again, big shout out to everybody. Hope you're all having a great Tuesday afternoon. Those of you who are popping, I noticed a number of viewers actually went up quite a bit during that game. Um, if you aren't familiar, uh, we're still playing chess, the game of chess. Again, no new patches in the last 24 hours, but we're playing chess and um, and we're playing in a cash tournament. So there are there is prize money here. First prize um, is $500. So we are playing for for money in this tournament. Yeah, no pat, no no patches in the last 24 hours. Sorry, chat. Um, yeah, no, no new patches, <laughs> no new patches for 250 years. Right. Pretty much chat. Um, yeah, the queen didn't get nerfed yet. Um, but yeah. All right. So I'm going to play, um, I'm going to go here and B4 and Bishop B3 maybe, or just bring the queen and actually I'm gonna make a gamble here. I'm going to gambit a pawn to put pressure on the center point. They, they never update. I know chat. It's, it's, it's tough sometimes. Okay. So. Um, they stopped the live dev updates a couple decades ago, <laughs> a couple decades ago, right? Chat more like a couple hundred years ago. Um, sure. Okay, I'm going to move my queen and try to bring my rook here. Maybe bring my queen here to attack this way as well. He plays F4. I thought I could play E4 here, but maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Here, oh, he's got this, this, this. I have to capture. To capture here. The bishop back, remove the rook. I'm gonna move the bishop and attack this down here as well. Wait, but now that's a blunder because I go here, I attack the rook in the pawn, but I also attack the bishop, so you can't move the rook off without losing. 
Okay, now I, I should be careful. I can move the bishop either square. I think I'm going to go here to attack the rook and maybe move the bishop up and maybe this bishop coming as well. Let's go bishop g5. Remove the rook. Keep an eye on this and this and this and this and that and bang. Um, there, 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 the, the, there was this patch with the casting over the board which with a promoted pawn. <laughs> admins he's going sideways he's forgetting how to play chess he's becoming he's beco he's, he's being ruined by by twitch right thank you for Gito for the sub with prime thank you so much let's capture okay i can move my rook up i can also move my bishop somewhere um let's go here i'm gonna sneeze in a second give me one sec okay chat um <laughs> Okay, let's go. Um, maybe rook here, maybe just queen back. Actually, um, I think I'm gonna bring my queen, just center my queen in the board here. Um, okay, uh, let's bring my queen over here to trade some stuff. Was that in the elbow? Okay, now I move the king because I want to push these pawns and bring the bishop back as well. Let's go. Um, Actually, no, I should cut the cut the pawns so no more squares. I'm going to push the pawns up the board and push the pawns. And I should be winning here, so let's keep going. Okay, so first off, I can capture this thing. What am I missing? I'm not missing anything. Why am I doubting myself? I'm being like, I'm being like Felix now. I'm like doubting myself on every move for some reason. Okay, I'm going to checkmate him here. Um, okay, that's a crazy man's move. Um, let's go here. If captures, I make checkmate with the rook and the queen. If he captures, I capture, check, and then I block, and I'm just winning. Oh, I also have check here, I guess, or F5. Yeah, I would make a check here and just captures. Thank you to Lucky XD9 for the tier one. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're on three and a half out of four. Good start. Um, I think there's going to be a short break here. So if I'm not mistaken and there is a break, um, I think we're going to go back to watching Box Box. Um, let's go back to watching Box Box while we're at it. Oops, sorry, wrong, wrong scene again. Let's go here. <laughs> since, since when is Box Box like super about like being proper? He's playing bad moves. He's cheesing you, bro. He's cheesing you. He's cheesing you. No, he's doing well. He's doing well. The chess community is super, like, we're super proper. We're so, like, we're all about being proper and nice. Yeah. Chess community is definitely uh, super, super proper. Yeah, so, uh, Poldy, yeah, TTS is off at the moment. Um, turn it back on later, maybe. But but right now, uh, right now, we're it's, it's off. So I'm playing in a competitive tournament. Unless you hate someone. Yeah, exactly, chat. Um... He created big fat holes on the dark squares. He can put the knight here. He can put the knight here. He can also like protect the pawn. Um, doing really, really well. Um, uh, what Yoshi says, did I see the Eric Hansen video on XC? So I'm not really going to talk much about that. All I'm going to say is that um, uh, in terms of the general attitude, we're, we're very welcoming of people who are not very good at chess coming into this community. And I think it's very inappropriate for uh for chess streamers to sort of be hating on or, or saying things of a certain nature about about people who are streaming um who are who are not as good at chess as they are so for me it's absolutely unacceptable what what happened uh thank you coolly 36 for the prime thank you so much and um i i just think it's it's i mean i i really have no words for it honestly it's just it's not acceptable in any world and um uh and um so so yeah just I, that's all I'm going to say is that it's just unacceptable, un unacceptable in any, any way, shape or form. Um, uh, so, so yeah. All right. Um, okay. So in this position, he's got to guard the knight. He's got to guard the bishop. Um, you can move the knight to like E4 here at some point. Um, probably bishop D2 gets played here at some point. Um, well, we'll see what happens in this position.
Oh, we blunder the knight. Now I can take the knighting and take the bishop next move. Very, very, very bad. Um, so, so yeah. So anyway, um, he's just gonna lose the knight. Gonna lose the bishop here. I'm not gonna get into what was said, chat. But, but what was said was was along the lines. It was, it was very negative, very deeply. I mean, it was vulgar, insulting to both Felix and to to his girlfriend. And I mean, there's no place for it in the chess world. And um, I mean, may, maybe they'll survive it, but I, I assume there's prob probably going to be a temporary ban coming at some point because you just you can't say stuff like that on stream. So um, I mean, you shouldn't say stuff like that at all. Period. All right. Um, okay. So anyway, chat. Uh, let's let's stick to um, let's uh, stick to the chess for now. So White's probably going to push the pawn, move the king. He's down two pieces, down a knight and a bishop here. So uh, so at this point, really bad. Um, so probably move the king, maybe move the pawn. I, I think at this point, it's going to be hard for Box Box to do anything. Probably push the pawn, move the king. Not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean that's all I'm gonna say. On it. I don't want. I don't want to get back into it. Um, uh, I, I don't want to get into it. Okay, I think what, what do we have? We're still we're still waiting, right? We're still waiting. Yeah, still waiting on the next game. So let's keep watching this. Um, no, 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 no. We're we're gonna keep watching this. So probably uh, at this point, I mean, d5 should be played here. He can also play bishop c5, probably not as good. Um, uh, so so, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Uh, so did, um, did, uh, did, did, do I think China deserve draws or should it have been decided another way? So in the match between the US and China in the FIDE Nations Cup, which we played in, um, which we played in, I think, uh, I think it, I don't think it was the right way to, to, to do it necessarily in terms of, um, in terms of the final China should have had some kind of advantage when we played, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right way to do it was. I, I think the odds weren't, weren't great. Um, apparently the clip got taken down chat. Uh, it was on, it was on LSF. I think it got taken down. Thank you to Vimo for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, but again, it's just not, not, not good for chess. It's not good for Twitch. Um, and it's, I mean, it's. It's just really bad. Anyway, you shake, shake it out. So that's all I'm going to say. We're going to move on now. So let's keep watching Box Box. Let's have some more sort of positive vibes in the meantime while we're while we're watching. Okay, so he blocks with the queen. Unfortunately, loses the knight on d5 here, but he can move the king. Um, he can move the king here. I guess he can also maybe block with the bishop. It's not, not so easy here. Um, uh, okay, moves the king out. That's a little bit iffy. Now white can make a check with the queen and... Um, Little bit dicey here. A little bit dicey. Maybe king f7 here is possible. This is okay. This is okay. Actually, does anybody know his box box? I'm doing a 24 hour stream. Is box box doing 24 hours? <laughs> Title. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Mr. 102 IQ. I'm such a papay guy. I can't even see that he writes 24 hour stream down here. I'm such, such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Look at me. I'm, I'm just pure class. What an idiot. Thank you to Skr, Skr, Skr for the two months. Thank you so much. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at me. I can't even see, I can't even see the 24 hour stream. I'm so stupid. What is wrong with me? Such an idiot. What's it? Top right, top, top right, top right, Papega, right? I'm top right at the moment, I think. So yeah, I'm top right, Papega. Yeah, top right, Papega for the loss. Um, okay, so what's he's, he's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down one pawn. Um, he's doing okay, not not terribly. Let me make sure. Yeah. Uh, wait, next one second, chat. Let me make sure. Next game has not started yet. Um, so so yeah. Actually, I think I, should, I think I'm just going to mute this and, and go back because I, I think the next game is going to be starting very soon. So, um, so let, let, let's go back to this because I think the next game should be starting in like a minute or two, um, pretty soon. So we're, we're just going to keep it here. I'll, in between the games, I'll get back to box box. Why not? 
um 1002 i scan my donut well chat i have um i have tts off for the moment um they need a worst comment ever for the tier one as well thank you so much so so yeah Uh, just watch billions could any of the cast or crew play um so in terms of billions i would say i i was only there for one day it was a very weird kind of shoot like i i got there at like 1 p.m and it was just like four to five minutes um uh I, I was there for like um yeah i was only there for a couple of hours for the filming so so uh so yeah um they a dm dme rc for the three months thank you so much it's dmerk love the streams man thank you dmerk appreciate it glad you're enjoying the streams glad you're uh glad you're learning chess or even just the the educational or entertainment value appreciate it it's always great to hear um when people come in and they're they're enjoying um they're enjoying the stream so thank you so much so all right chat um uh thank you to passive inertia for the prime thank you so much um uh MVL's playing yeah everybody's playing oh Mr Llama is in the chat too big shout out to Mr Llama SC uh he is primarily a Diablo player I think he was doing speed running to, to try and qualify for a competition so make sure to check him out if you're in Diablo he also was playing some chess on stream last night so um so so yeah so uh it's good stuff thank you to future for the tier one pay to hold my beer dude for continuing the gifted sub from CW55 CW So yeah, so so chat. Um, uh, thank you, Gonzo Bone, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so uh, as I was starting to say, in terms of streams, if there is a Twitch rival streamers event, um, still hasn't been confirmed, but if there is one, um, Mr. Lama definitely, I think, will be will be in it at some point. You are a great streamer. Thank you for the chess tips. Thank you, Passive Inertia. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you so much. Um, it's going it's going pretty well what, what is that clip of Lud oh is that Ludwig that's another big streamer isn't it wait that's another big streamer right I don't I don't mind watching this quickly what is this Oh man, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, that's 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 really funny. Um, that's a good one. That's a hilarious clip. What is this? Someone talking smack talk to me? This is a joke, right? Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah yeah. This is uh this is Tawny. This is the Af. Oh, that's just, it's 15 seconds. Okay. That was weird. All right. Very, very weird. Um, anyway, chat, uh, joking aside, uh, well, next game starting, but joking aside, the, uh, the kid in that video, his name is Tani. He is, um, he is an immigrant from, uh, which African country is it? Thank you to Afro Sam for the prime. Um, I don't know which African country it is that he's from, but he's actually very talented. He's like 1600. I played, I played that kid. We played a fun game in St. Louis. Um, we played a fun game in St. Louis. Maybe it was last year, 2019, during the U.S. Chess Championship. I don't know if it's Nigeria. It was Nigeria. Okay. Anyway, um, joking aside, very talented junior player. He's about 1600 at the age of eight. Um, he came to St. Louis during the U.S. Championship. He played some fun games against myself, against Fabiano, and a few of the other top chess players. So, um, very talented, very talented uh, kid. It's Castle. Thank you to Harshu for the hundred bits. Also. Um, I think there there was there there's something on Kickstarter as well to uh to help out his family because they they're they're immigrants are trying to of course get residency in the United States so um it's just a very heartwarming story make sure to check it out if you have time I think for the Kickstarter they raised something like two hundred fifty thousand dollars um to help out with like the fees for being able to stay in the country and also to get chess training have somewhere to live so um the whole thing yeah the whole thing is is really it's really a great story if you guys aren't familiar with it make sure to check it out because. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, in this day and age, 
more often than not, you don't see great stories, and it's, it's definitely one of the better stories you'll see. Um, thank you to Mike Onish 2020 for the sub with Prime. Now, I can go d5 here. I think I'll just move the bishop, attack the pawn, maybe push the pawn to create threats against the rook. Thank you, B Dots, for the tier one as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I don't know how long he's been playing. Thank you to Luke CS for the Prime, but it's a, it's a very inspiring story. It's one, one of the best stories I've seen in a while. Um, I think I'm going to go... I'm going to try to get cheeky with Knight here. Maybe try to sacrifice something. Yeah, let's try to get cheeky and attack here. Thank you to Helena Onberg for the tier one. Thank you so much, Helena. Oh, I missed a donation. Sorry. Um, thank you to Rimka XD for the 300 bits. Um, do I prefer Morphe or Bobby Fisher? Okay, now I, I really try to cement the structure. If captures, I can capture and capture and also capture. So I'm doing really, really well. Um, I would say I prefer Bobby Fisher, generally speaking. Paul Morphe was a good player for his time, but in, but when you compare the way that he played chess relative to the way chess has changed over the years, it's really not comparable. Thank you to Nurton for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely Bobby Fisher, just a fantastic chess player. Uh, definitely, in my, in my opinion, the greatest American chess player of all time, bar none. I can play F4 here, maybe. Yeah, I think F4 is a good move because now he can't move the pawn and he's under a lot of pressure here on the diagonal. The queen's under attack. It's all really, really good. But yeah, Tani Tolua Adewumi. Yeah, okay, that's his name. Yeah, very talented though. Big, big fan. Um, he's probably, wait, I've got this move too. And now I remove the knight. He has to go back. I'm probably going to trade and then bring a knight here and just take the knight on F6. Most influential chess player in history by far and away would, of course, be Bobby Fischer. Or not Bobby Fischer, sorry, Gary Kasparov. Sorry, what, what's wrong with my mind? Okay, now I've got more space, so I want to bring in some, some cavalry. I want to bring in the cavalry here. So I'm going to put this here maybe and take and go here. Yeah, no, definitely most influential player. Oh, did I, was it American or was it in history? Sorry, it was in history, right? You guys said history, not in America, right? I'm not, you said, did you say in America or do you guys say in, the, in history? Let's move the bishop back and attack the pawn. Oh, in history, yeah. So then it would be Gary Kasparov for sure. Um, he's the guy who I would say has expanded chess the most um, in terms of, of what he's done for the game. So I'm a big fan of Gary. I have played Gary. I'm going to trap this dude's queen soon. Um, with bishop here the queens cover the squares um and i'm doing really really well thank you to glass swords for the prime thank you so much um hikari top 10 most influential players okay so obviously gary Sparov number one um i would say magnus carlson number two no no i'd say gary number one bobby fisher number two bobby fisher's even though it was a very brief and fleeting moment in time bobby fisher what he did for the game of chess cannot be under under uh, underestimated so okay i'm now i'm gonna sauce him because i have the rook here and i can move the bishop and attack um, so number one is Gary. Number two is Bobby Fischer. I mean, as, as I've said on chat several times before, um, chess, amazing. The world championship match that was played in 1972 between Boris Spassky and, um, or sorry, I should show the standing, sorry, between Boris Spassky and um, Bobby Fischer was the most, most watched sporting event in history. And I think that number still remains true. Um, so for that reason alone, I would have to put, um, I would have to put uh, Bobby Fischer number two after, after Gary. Um, now beyond that, let me think for a second. He's actually trying to trying to put up some resistance here, so I gotta focus. Um maybe just eh. I mean, the, everything is good here. I just need to be careful um in how I approach it. I think I'm just gonna put the queen here, solidify all my points, and then bring this, this, and this, and bang and boom. Um so I'm doing very, very well here. Um, so yeah, I mean, Bobby Fischer has to be number two. Gary had a much longer arc in terms of playing the game of chess, which is why I put him at number one over, say, um, over, say, uh, Bobby Fischer. Okay, now I'm going to bring the bishop. He still can't do anything with a pawn because he loses this. So he tries to resist. Uh, I'm, oh, that's a good move, actually. Um, what am I doing? I think I'm going to go here and maybe just give up something. It's like B5 and capture, maybe. I can also bring the king and bring the rook over. Okay, so now I capture. He's got a capture. Now I capture and I push the pawn. He's got all kinds of problems, like rook here. 
This is very, very bad. This pawn is coming up the board. He can't move the rook without losing. Oh, he's got this, this, this. Wait a second. Or this, or this. Let's do this. Because now he's going to, when I capture, if he ever moves the rook off, he gets checkmated in the corner. His king is completely boxed here. So um, this is just winning. But yeah, so yeah, the Bobby Fischer match between Bobby Fischer and Boris Spassky in 1972 um, is the most watched sporting event in history. So based on that alone, that's why I put Bobby Fischer at number two. But again, it was a very short arc. It was a very, it was one match and... Um, like it's you're talking about a window of like one year where there was this huge burst of popularity okay so i'm gonna push the pawn and take um how many views you know i haven't I, i'm not gonna look at it because i'm playing a game but chat surely can find the stats on that for me i'm gonna take and create checkmate um now i move my queen in i create the checkmate again with the bishop guarding now um right but but chat no i th i think but you're but i think Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there, maybe it's a different metric. But I know that many people have said, at least by whatever metric, that it was um, that it was the most watched sporting event. Now maybe maybe they were just making it up, but I, I'm sure I've seen that in lit, in literature before. Boris Spassky TV uh, viewership 1972. Let's see. Does that help? Okay. Um, how the chess battle became a theater. Were there Nielsen ratings in '72? Uh, probably not. Let's let's see anyway. Um. I know, chat. I, I can't find it right off, so I'll let you guys find it since we're in the tournament at the moment. Thank you to Crundor for the prime. Um, oh, the last century. Yeah, maybe just for, maybe just of the 19th, of the twentieth century, possibly. Um, there's got to be numbers somewhere. I don't. It says public television viewership. Yeah, I'm not seeing the numbers right off, so you guys can tell me. Uh, but that's I've seen that in literature before that they've said that. So I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, re regardless for for that match and for the popularity of chess, I mean. Um, so like to give you guys an example, if I go to play a chess tournament, like I go, you know, I go play, it's all good and fine. When Bobby Fischer went to play the world championship match, he actually was worried that the Soviets were going to like blow up the airplane he was flying on. So because he was that worried, paranoid, whatever you want to call it, that the Soviets would like blow up the airplane he's in, uh, the, the, they had a turtle 328 for the tier one. So, um, <laughs> yeah, chat, exactly. I, I, I agree. Like Munka. Yeah, totally. Um, so, so because he was so worried that the Russians, I mean, Soviets, sorry, would blow up his airplane. He, uh, he, um, he, he, he basically had to get, basically the secretary of state at the time, Henry Kissinger had to, um, had to basically get personally call him and guarantee him that nothing would, uh, that nothing would happen. That basically, you know, the, the Soviets wouldn't blow up his, blow up his airplane. Um, and just by virtue of the secretary of state of the United States having to call, call him to go and travel to play the match. The match was in Reykjavik, Iceland. Um, so by virtue of that, I mean, that already says just how how incredibly big chess was at the time. I mean, that's like, you know, that'd be like, I don't know, like, who would it be like? That'd be like, I don't even know who the Secretary of State now is, but that'd be like Condoleezza Rice or somebody like having to call me to go play a tournament in, in Africa. Like, that's just never going to happen again in regards to chess. So um, Trump calling me, yeah, right, chat, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's Mike Pompeo. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you to Durbin for the tier one. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So, um, so, uh, actually, you know what chat? I think there's gotta be a bit, wait, chat, wait, there's gotta be, be a video of me playing the kid. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Um, or no wrong window. Sorry. Let me find this. What's his name? Tani to low. Uh, what's his name? What is his name? Tani. St. STL. I pl it was the day that I played Lenny and Domingo, so it should have been round 12. Um, let's see. I can find this. Um, is it is it in here? I don't let me, let me see if it's in here. Is it in this one? Let me see. Let's see. Let me see. Is it in here? I'm just going to scroll through this video. Is it in here? No, it's not in here. Um, No, it's not in here. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Let's keep going. Sorry. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, but yeah, so chat there, there was one day when I was there, um, in St. Louis it's, oh, it, it's there. It, it is there. Okay. Let me, let me, okay. Let me, let me look in a second. Let's go here in D five. We're playing another 2,800. Um, let me copy this. Okay. And I will just put this in a new window. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I found it. Okay. Chat. So we'll watch it after the next game. So after the next game in between the rounds, we'll watch it. Um, 
Let's go E6 here. Let's go here. Playing the same line. Okay, he's playing 92. There are many lines that are okay here. C5 is objectively the best, but I don't really want to play it. So I'm going to play something different. I'm going to play F6 and Bishop F7. Okay, now I think you take and you go like Bishop F7. Think knight d7, attack the pawn, and knight h6 and knight f5 is supposed to be fine. You can also develop the bishop as well. I'm just going to develop my bishop here. Thank you to Nate yt7 for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so now I should probably develop my knights here in the center of the board. If h6, I just go g6 or bishop g6. Okay, does this so I will capture and play queen b6. Try to trade the queens, attack the pawn, create the right triangle, of course. But yeah, chat, in between the games, I will, uh, I'll, I'll pop it up. So queen d2, that's fairly aggressive. Okay, now I think I should fix the pawns here. He's going to get his king out. Now I'm going to get my king out. I don't want to go this way because he's got all these pawns. He can really attack me very quickly. So I'm just trying to step my king out of this way. 45, 45, 90, right triangle. That's, yes. So even if I only have a 102 IQ, I at least know what a right triangle is. Um... Okay, this is actually not simple. C5, knight a4, queen c7. One second, chat. Sorry, I need to focus for a second. G8, G8 there. Knight a4, queen c6. Hmm. Guess I go knight c5, maybe. Oh, okay, one second. Here, here. I go here and capture, and then bishop e8, maybe. Dicey position. I'm not sure what's going on here. What would you advise someone regarding following their dreams stuck in a 9 to 5 at the moment? I mean, well, if you have a 9 to 5 right now, I mean, it's that's very much a good thing. There are a lot of people who don't have, have jobs right now, honestly. So it's, um, so it is kind of a, th oh, whoa, he just bails out. He had to go f5, because now after I move my pawn, that was such a chicken move. I mean, this guy should not move the knight. He, he had the big advantage if he pressed and said he backed off when he shouldn't have. Um, and now it's now it's going to be hard for him to play this. He should not have backed off with this move. He should have just gone for the kill with f5. Um, so yeah, so if you're stuck in um, if you're stuck in a nine to five job, I mean, it's it's tough. I think it's kind of like one of those things where when opportunities present themselves, like you just have to grab them and have no fear, kind of. And by that I mean like let's say you know somebody who's you know who comes in I, well i don't know what the job is um but like when you have opportunities when you like you meet people who are who are from some sort of different background or somebody who within your within your field of work is is prominent like if you get opportunities i think that's really the key it's the only thing that i can really say like i know it's very generic and stupid but i mean that's that's all that i can say but i think also you really just have to believe in yourself honestly like you know i, I one second let me make a move i can push the pawn I'm gonna kick the knight. He goes back. He goes here. I capture. Thank you, Shadonman, for gifting a sub to um, gifting gifting a sub to uh, to surge somebody. One. Thank you. To, uh, thank you as well for giving a sub to Hurvat. Thank you. Let's go queen c7. I gotta cut this so that he can't take and win some stuff here. Um, uh, so so yeah. I mean it's it's hard. But yeah. So the story I was gonna give you guys. Um, was basically so with myself like of course everybody sees me i mean not not solely uh, like talking about streaming here but like people see me as like okay you play chess you do very well uh, obviously you know google thinks i'm some kind of god which i'm not um let's play knight b6 here if he takes i take if he goes here i capture i mean thank you skeptical Clive, for the prime star it's like okay you're a chess player like you probably do very well you're worth 45 million dollars blah 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 all this other all this other nonsense um Anyway, uh, but the point I was going to make is that actually becoming a professional chess player and making a living from chess is very, very hard. So in order to, yes, chat, 45, 50, blah, 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 all, all that jazz. Thank you, G-Sound, for the five months. Um, but chat, no, 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 that's not, I, there's a point behind the story. I'm not just being random here. I'm completely winning, by the way. I'm going to push the pawn, bring the knight in. One, two, three, bing, bang, boom, and there too. So, um... So as I was saying, chat, like becoming a pro professional chess player is very hard. It takes a lot of work, a lot of years, honestly. And if you don't make it, it's one of those things, kind of like being an actor, I think, where if you, you know, if you're just permanently a B-list actor, you're just like, you're doing side parts, nothing, um, you know, it's, it's just not, not glamorous at all. Thank you to Conrad KG for the gift of sub to Kleistas. Um, so now I go here, I hit the bishop, hit the rook. 
Um, so, so what I was going to say is that like getting to that professional level is very, very hard in chess. Um, I think I take and go here. I know I'm winning, so let's not mess this one up. Cause I messed up the previous one that I shouldn't have messed up. Yeah. Let's just take and go here. And now if he moves the queen, I have this one. I also can just move my rook. Um, I mean, this has to be very, very good for me because this one's loose. This one's loose. Okay, I think I just take and I just capture. I'm just winning here. Just capture. So as I was saying, chat, like becoming a professional is very hard. There's a lot of years where you, you're just like studying the game, hoping to improve, get that one opportunity to break through. And you know, if it doesn't happen, that's kind of, that's kind of it for you, honestly, in a way. So from that standpoint, what I was one second. Okay. I take, I've got this move and I can just take, okay. This move, guard the rook, attack the rook, hit the queen. He's got to go back. So now I just capture, go here, back. Um, one second chat. Okay. That's not going to change anything. So now I come in and I finish him off. Thank you to face chess for 19 months. Thank you so much for the resub. Um, I guess just make the check. And now I just take my, my afternoon coffee and I just side step with the King, get it out of danger. He can't really do anything. His position is so, so bad. So I just take, bring the queen in. And now this is loose. This is loose. The king is stuck. The bishop is stuck. Everything is just collapsing. Um, okay. All right, chat. So while we're at it, let me find, where's the video? Here we go. Okay. Here you guys go. Let's pop this up. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's watch this video chat. So this is me playing Tawny in St. Louis last year. So as you see, he plays the opening very, very well. This is pretty standard, like good, good openings. Um, so we're just going to, we're going to watch this, vi this video, um, while we're waiting for the next game. When the next game begins, we'll, 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 we'll obviously have to pause it and flip back, but we'll, we'll watch this game for now. See, so like he's already showing good, good, uh, good intuition playing like this H three move. Um, against the dragon. So yeah, I mean, he's not a joke. He's, he's definitely not a joke. Very serious player. Um, he'll, he'll definitely probably get to like 2000 or 2100 ranking. Um, he's only eight years old, I think at the moment. So he's still pretty young. So, so we're waiting for the next round and we'll just keep, we'll watch this Rolex. Wait, what Rolex? Oh yeah. Okay. I have a Rolex. Okay. But that was a gift chat. I mean, I, I'm not worth 45 million, so I can't, I can't afford a Rolex. Um, <laughs> I missed the Rolex. Okay. Chat. Anyway, I played knight a five slightly dubious move here. I want to take the Bishop on this B three square, this light square Bishop because it attacks towards my King down this diagonal. I think you guys can see my cursor. So, um, so it attacks down towards the King. So I want to get rid of it. So I move my Bishop. So, all right. So, so anyway, um, okay. We keep thinking this is like a three minute game. What was I talking about there? Right. So I was talking about this diagonal. The Bishop is good. The queen is good. Um, but he's going to be a very, he's going to be a very talented, he's a very talented player. And he's growing up in New York where there are a lot of strong chess players. Again, a good move. Bishop to H six, trying to trade the bishops, take with the queen. Um, look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that chat. He's like giving me the stare there. Look at that. Let's, let's see this again. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's awesome. He's like giving me the stare. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> very serious, very serious. Yeah, very serious. But you can also tell like at first I'm kind of like, I'm like more or less joking. Now you can be like, wait, this kid actually, he's not bad. Like I'm going to have to focus just a touch here. Um, like you can tell, like you can tell by my facial expression, like I'm, I'm kind of like happy. And then you can see that I'm starting to get more serious. Cause I realize like, he's not a joke. And this next move, I actually blunder. He moves the knight, And then I, I try to play attack because it doesn't work. Game hasn't started, right? No game hasn't started. Sorry. Okay. So he grabs the pawn, which I, I think at the time, if I remember correctly, um, I, I wasn't that worried, but I played the order wrong. So he captures the pawn and then I play a knight move, which is actually very bad. Oh, actually, sorry. We got to get back. We got to get back. Okay. We got to get back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play knight f three. 
Thank you to Hakunas for the sub with Prime. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to the Mule for the, the Bond Cloud. Thank you as well for, for buying a mug. Let's keep going. Let's go B3. Who is Little Peasant? This is uh, Alejandro Ramirez. He is um, he actually lives in St. Louis. He uh, he coaches uh, one of the college teams there. So this must be this must be Alejandro, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, let's keep playing the same thing. Just D4, Knight D2, C4, of course, and like Queen C2. Play H3, kick the bishop back, bring bring my uh, no, I'll push this and then go here. Can okay, I bring the queen in? Thank you, Face Chest, for giving a sub to Nasir. Thank you so much to Face Chest for the gifted sub. Okay, goes bishop g6 no i capture i castle i'm gonna break the center again now see unlike the previous guy alejandro captures correctly towards the center not away so he keeps the pawns very very structurally sound here oh he says he's in chat i don't i don't know if it's actually tawny in chat uh maybe maybe it is actually but at any rate very talented player um so definitely he's growing up in new york where the chess competition tends to be the stiffest as well so his future is quite bright yeah his future is definitely quite bright and we'll watch the rest of the video um okay I think I put this rook here if he captures I can just go back and win so now he brings the queen in I think I should put this rook here probably just to guard towards the center he can't move the knight because I go g4 to win material I can push the knight in I can also push the pawn maybe as well no then he captures he makes a draw doesn't look right let me think totally doesn't look like the right move so I'm gonna go here captures captures I capture I think I'm doing very well here 2k is bright well I'm saying I'm saying he's definitely gonna be 2000 in the next year or two if he keeps playing chess as much as he does so um he's very 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 talented very talented and as I was saying before he's growing up in New York City which is where the generally the stiffest competition is in New York City so he's gonna get a lot of good practice against all these different uh, against all these other different very talented juniors so um Oh, he's already 2000 plus. Okay. Well, what do I know? He's, he's, he's young. I keep forgetting that like, you know, to old people like me, like when I was growing up, you didn't just improve that, that fast, like that instantly. So, um, it's great to hear though. That's fantastic. 2059. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. If assuming that is him in chat, I mean, just keep it up. He's on the right path. Definitely on the right path. So that's really, really good to see. Um, again, uh, if you're just tuning in, we're, we're talking about, uh, talented junior chess players. So, um, one second, I I'm going to go c5 is a problem i guess i go i think i'm gonna have to break this pawn these pawns over here somehow i think i'm gonna play queen e3 i'm gonna try to see if he's actually gonna stop this or not how he's gonna play it okay now how do i do this maybe queen c3 then he goes f6 and queen a5 maybe hmm you can also play g4 maybe let's think how do i do this very tricky um I'm also moving way too slowly I just have to play chess um I guess let's just go here maybe h4 I mean moves the knight here then I push the pawn and my queen comes in goes to f6 that's a good move that's what I expected him to play so now I think I should play like um Four takes six knight d7 not so easy to play i can push the pawn and bring the queen in I think i'm gonna bring my queen here though i, I want to see if he's going to guard with the rook the knight how he's going to play this exactly so he brings the rook i can probably start to expand over this way if he pushes the pawn i probably bring the queen back oh does he just have this one? Oh, whoops let's go here He still can't push. I can still break with this pawn push. And okay, we'll do this. Oh, I just gave him queen c2. That was insane. He misses it. Okay, but now I have g4 and queen e6. No, but I just blundered. He's got queen c2 now. Hmm. So I take... He's got to move the king, and then I move the rook, and then he captures, and I go here, and then I win the rook, maybe. If he moves the king up, I can make the check. Tricky position. Tricky position. It's actually not a blunder by me, but it's very, very tricky. Very, very intense position as well. Not, not completely clear. 
Okay, so he does this, so now I can make the check, I thought. Still not gonna be easy to win this, but I should be better here. So I move the rook, he captures, I go here, he's got, he surely has something here. So I think I should just make the check and take. Takes, I capture, goes back. I think I bring my rook in down the board here, but he's got knight f8. Yeah, I see. Is it of course? I guess I take and bring the bishop in, maybe. I think I capture and bring the bishop in. Try to bring the bishop this way to attack his his rook and his knight. Now I can go this way and that way or that way. I should have had this with the king one square back though. Um, let's see here. I think actually I can just kind of wait. Cause if he goes this way, I go this way. Now I capture. I think my king is fast enough here when I come in. He can't move the rooks, then I make a queen. So I keep bringing my king in. And I bring my king, I go here, and then he... Wait, one second. So here, 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 check, and here. Yeah. I think I'm winning. So he captures. I keep bringing the king. Again, as, I was, as I've said many times, this pawn is super fast. So I think I just go rookie one, maybe. And now I threaten to push the pawn and make this one. If he goes this one to go back, then I go this one, and then he gets made it this way. So his king is completely stuck. My king is very safe. Okay, so now he goes back. So now I can take and probably win. This must be winning. Because now I'm also going to get, like, I'm going to get a connect two here. I'm going to get connect two to win the game. Now I capture. Okay, now this should be winning. This should just be clean, though. And that's all she wrote. All right, so while we're at it, let's get back to this. Um, uh, yeah, let's get back to this. There we go. Okay, so let's keep watching. Okay, so he takes with the pawn. This is a good move. Capture the pawn. Yeah, big shout out again to everyone who's watching. We're uh, we're playing in a, a cash tournament. There's $500 first prize. We're also in between rounds. We're watching this, this Blitz game right now that I played between Tani. This is a game that I played against Tani To Lua Adewumi. Very talented uh, junior player from Nigeria. Uh, came to New York. I think his whole family's immigrants. Yeah, see, I saw because like an idiot, he, he blunders with knight up too. What he's supposed to do here, chat, is not block the knight. He pushes the pawn up. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes queen. Knight to f6 is check. And then my king is under attack. And I lose the bishop on d7. So he blunders here with knight f2. Uh, g3 is just winning. What? What did I go too far? Oh, oh Sorry. No, I said I'm like an idiot, not him. I'm like, I said I'm the idiot. He's not the idiot. I'm the idiot. I played Queen H4 like an idiot. I said I'm the idiot, not him. No, no, I said I'm the idiot, chat. Oh, did I get my words mixed up? No, no, I mean I'm an idiot. I mean I played Queen H4 like an idiot. And now I played G3. No, 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 no. Oh, did I get the words? Oh, did I say the words wrong? I didn't mean... He no, of course not, Chad. I mean, I'm the idiot because I played the wrong order. What I was supposed to do is not go knight takes e4. I go bishop takes knight, knight takes, knight takes pawn. I played the wrong order. Um. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. No, no, I'm saying I'm the idiot for playing the wrong order. 102 IQ, yeah. Um. Okay, so he blocks, and now I take. And now I just lose the game because, like, the knight's under attack and everything's hanging. Um... Yeah. Okay, you guys are trolling? Okay, yeah, no, no, I'm saying I'm the idiot. I'm, I'm the 102, 102 IQ Papega. Not him. He's he's a genius. He's probably got, like, the 140. That move is actually a little bit funny, the way he moved it, because he actually touched the pawn. Thank you to Dark Rain 404 for the prime. Technically, if you touch a piece, you have to capture. So, um, so it's, you know, it's technically the way he made that move is a little bit wrong, but it didn't, didn't, doesn't matter. Um... Oh, oh, ouch, ouch time. Hangs the rook and now it's now it's just uh now I just clean it up. But again, Chad, as I was saying, I'll, I'll find the I'll find the article on him. He's like very talented junior player. Um let me let me just copy this so I can find it. There we go. Uh, I'm really insecure or memeing. I'm memeing, Chad. I'm totally memeing, of course. I I, I I I'm never gonna take a real IQ test, so I mean I'm just memeing. It's all it's all in good fun, chat. How old is he? I think he's eight years old. I think he's eight or nine years old. Um, okay. 
Not the best. Yeah, it's decent though, I guess. Now he takes the queen. All right. So he takes, and now bring the bishop in. No, but he's like he's like eight years old, chat. He, he's he's like eight years old. He's he's pretty cool. Very talented. Very very talented though. Um, fantastic kid. Very like very um comes from a very good family too. Like, I'll, I'll pull up the article in a second so you guys can see it. I'm not gonna watch the clip chat. Uh, not right now. I'll watch it later. I'm gonna watch the end of this video because the next game's coming up pretty soon. Um, so I make the check. He moves the king. I think I take the knight. No, I just take the pawn. I must have been eating too much food during this turn as well. I look surprisingly like the 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 something in this this in this this video. Um, so I take. He moves the knight. Turks <laughs> three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let, let me put this in actually. Let me see if there's an article on him. Yeah, here we go. Is this, well, this is an NPR article, so it's, it's not, not the same one, but basically, um, as I was saying, Chad, he comes, he, he basically his whole family, they, they were immigrants essentially coming to, um, coming to, uh, coming to America. Um, and they're like homeless. It's like, you see a story. Oh, he's nine years old now. Okay. But let's see. Okay, nine years old. Um, but yeah, they were basically homeless and everything. So uh, just there was there was a whole like there's a whole fundraiser that was done for them. And uh, basically, it's like I, I think that they raised like two hundred fifty thousand so that they could actually have somewhere to live. It wasn't um you know it wasn't yeah I mean we can talk about why they left why they left Africa as well. But like you can see here it says like um he, this pastor let them stay in the basement and connected them with New York's Department of Homeless Services. The family was given temporary housing in a shelter located above a hotel in Manhattan. O Ola Watoin and Coyote on one floor, seven-year-old Tani and his 14-year-old brother Austin on another. Um, so like, it's pretty, it's pretty serious stuff. Um, Tani didn't like having to go to another floor just to see his mom and dad. His parents, however, were relieved. We thank God we were able to find somewhere to put our heads. Wow. Yeah, I mean, what? My game start? No, my game didn't start, chat. My game didn't start. Stop trolling me. It didn't start. Stop it. Stop it, chat. Stop trolling me. How dare you? I think it, it didn't start, right? No. It didn't start, right? Wait, am I insane? What's going on? No, their, their game's still going. Stop trolling me, chat. You guys are awful. Okay. Um. Okay, so like you see, it's like they enrolled in a nearby public school where there was an active chess club he wanted to join. His mother told the coaches they were living in a shelter and couldn't pay the $330 fee they waited. Holy, $330? Wait, what the three hundred thirty dollars to to join the uh, join the chess club? What the fuck? That's insane. Welcome to New York City, I guess. Um, anyway, he is obsessed with chess, reading books about it, studying famous masters, playing chess games online. Even his coaches like playing him. And then it's like, yeah, it just keeps going. Um, yeah, it's like fantastic. Wait, why is he using my board? This board in this image is, I think, the old board that I used to use. This looks very familiar. This looks like my board. Anyway, um, um, right, so there was a GoFundMe and all this stuff, yeah. And actually, I think there's going to be a movie. My name is Tanya. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be a movie that's being funded by Trevor. I think Trevor Noah's backing it, if I'm not mistaken. So um, so there is that. So yeah, it's it's pretty amazing to see this this sort of stuff. And it says with the proceeds of the GoFundMe site, they create a foundation in his name that helps children achieve excellence in learning the game of chess. So, um, really, really fantastic story. Um, he's a very, very intelligent kid. Uh, his parents are, are amazing too. So, um, absolutely, it's uh, not even a GM who cares, dude. Seriously, I know you're trolling, but that's not. It's not super funny. Um, but yeah, he's just, I mean, it's just great. It says like the GoFundMe page raised more than 250K within 10 days. An anonymous donor offered to pay the rent on an apartment for one year. Trevor Noah bought the movie rights to Tawny's story and the family co-wrote a book with best-selling author Craig Borlase. My name is Tawny and I believe in miracles. It will be published in April. So so yeah, it's just, I mean, all around a, a fantastic story. Um, what to say, is he in the chat? I don't know for sure if it's him, but if it is him, it's great to see him here. Um, it's great as well that his story is getting out there. Um, 
uh compared to me at nine years old is probably very very close so i'm just going to get back to the um get back to, to to the right screen so at nine years old i think my rating was about eight it was like 1800 and then in that one year between nine and ten is when i went from 1800 to 2200 thank you to digs three for the sub with prime thank you so much so um so yeah he definitely has a lot of talent he's about 2000 i think so it's gonna get harder and harder but he's in new york and new york if you have to be somewhere um new york is one of the best places that you can be for uh for for really trying to improve fast at chess because many of the best chess players in the united states do reside in new york so um yeah so he's definitely uh he's definitely got great potential we'll see where it goes but nonetheless i think more than like more than talking solely about chess um it, fide rating doesn't matter because he's playing in the united states so he doesn't he doesn't play many terms that are internationally rated st louis st louis has a lot of grand masters but st louis is not the same as new york you know in order to improve at the game of chess you have to play people in your rating range and um many of the best many of the people like who are 2200 2300 2400 are in new york city and you can play every week in new york city so just being exposed and having the opportunity to play the uh, competitive tournaments will really help him um, there are very few places that I can say I would compare to New York City in terms of playing chess as a kid where if you're trying to improve um, maybe Dallas Texas is another one because they have a very active chess club there but besides New York and probably Dallas I can't really think of anywhere else that I would put in that same league so um, definitely it's, it's a great story so we're going to be playing this is what round eight I guess yeah we're playing round eight now I guess there was a break there thank you to the Pirates for the tier one thank you so much okay let's play this it's been working every game so I'll keep playing the Karo Khan Okay, he plays the advance again, so we move the bishop out. Okay, he's gonna play this one, so I'm gonna play h5 again, maybe e6. Play c4. I'm just gonna do something dubious. I'm gonna take and play e6. This is not the correct way to play it. It's slightly dubious. Dallas, I'm surprised I'm from Texas. Well, there are a lot, I mean, there, there are a lot of a lot of there, there's a big Asian community in Dallas specifically that um that loves chess. And there are a lot of very talented Asian juniors in Dallas, Texas as well. Um, like there's Jeffrey Zhang, who currently is, I believe, the number five or number four ranked player number five ranked player I think or number six in the United States so he's a very talented junior player um obviously there's uh there there are other there are many other kids there's like um uh what's his name there's another talented junior from there who's also really really strong um so yeah there Dallas I would say is probably outside of New York City Dallas is the only other place that I would compare with um with it but again one second I'm gonna move my knight here maybe push the pawn but yeah he's uh Tani's definitely in the right in the right uh he's in the right he's in the right right part of the part of the country he's looking to improve really fast and just become a very serious player so that it's definitely I'm very curious to see, see where it goes Dallas Asian population is pretty pretty large yeah Mr Lama I mean uh, I've I've played a couple of tournaments in Dallas for fun as well um how about London no I mean London's not comparable when it comes to chess kids kids in chess I mean not to sound like what's what's the right word jingoistic is the wrong word what's the word I'm looking for um not to sound like one second okay if I move the bishop I want to go here he goes here I go here moves the queen rookie eight interesting don't know if it's good but I don't really want to think so I'm just going to play it thank you to life for the sub oh no but knight f5 he just takes my oh my gosh he just takes my rook oh geez okay he misses it so so he misses it I, I still want to go knight f5 but the problem is I guess I'll play rookie eight knight f5 he just gobbles the rook I, I didn't realize my rook was hanging there um um but what where was I going with that I was going somewhere I forgot where I was going with that story but uh no I I don't mean I don't mean I don't mean jingoistic is the wrong word but I mean like I, what's the word is it American exceptionalism I don't know what it is but um but anyway like America when it when it comes to comes to juniors trying to get really good at chess America is the place where you probably have the best opportunities um now it doesn't necessarily mean that the best best junior players come out of the United States but the best opportunities are for kids in the United States um so I can play f6 here capture play bishop h6 bishop d6 I think I'm still going to do this and take um focus on the game man focus on the game stop talking to chat focus on the game focus 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 um all right so so I'm gonna take he goes knight a4 strange move I think I just dropped back I'm just gonna capture with the pawn yeah because America is the best city in the world right chat totally um I don't know why he played knight a4 that seems like a very weird move to me but I could be insane so I can always play e5 I can also just go here uh, I want knight c5 but is that really so good I don't think it is because I can capture and drop back 
So I don't know. I mean, he's probably going to move the knight or he's going to capture. I don't know which one he'll do. Chi China is different. Like China, of course, China, it's just a different. I mean, I don't know how to put it. It's like a different mentality. I don't know what the word is. Um, I'm going to just gobble unless I'm blind. I don't understand what this is. So I want to go here and attack very soon. But but anyway, chat. Yeah. So like um, Dallas and New York are probably the two best places if you're if you're a talented junior who loves chess and you just want to get more and more of it. I think for sure um, those are the two best cities by a big margin. Okay. I think I just go bishop f5, guard the pawn. If he captures, I just capture. He captures, I just capture. Uh, Chicago is good, but Chicago is good if you're already above a certain level. Chicago is very good, actually. If you're maybe 2,200 or better, um, it's very, very good. I've already seen that I'm finishing first. No reason to focus now. I'm thinking about my next lesson with PVC. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so now I just capture. So if he captures, I can maybe ignore. I can just move my rook even and just attack. Wow, he's super low on the clock, I just realized. Okay. I just realized he's like crazy low on the clock. Why is he so low? Now I can move the knight here, which actually makes sense to go rook g8. Let's see. Um, I think I'm just going to move the knight, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to move the knight. He's just got no time here. He's got 13 seconds. His bishop's under attack. This is coming. I'm just going to sack, of course. And I have knight of three check coming. I'm threatening checkmate. His king is stuck. His rook is stuck. I mean, this must be winning. Let me think. I have bishop h3. Let's think. Okay, he's got no time. This just should be winning knight d4. Knight c2 next move. What's this? Just capture Second, okay. Second, okay. It's not easy, oddly. Can I go rookie seven? He captures. I go here. Queen a five. Bishop e six. Takes there. I think this works. Wait, no, no, I gotta go this way. Sorry, wrong order. But now I just capture and I go here and I win the rook. I go here and I win the pawn. This has, yeah, I'm just up too many pawns here. Just capture. It doesn't even matter how I do this because I just, I, I run the pawns here. I bring the knight back. Now if I go here, 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 here. Yeah, it's just wins. I push the pawn. I just push the pawn. He can't stop it. Oh my gosh, I just blund. Oh, oh, did I really just do this? Oh my gosh. Still winning, still winning. I almost just blundered that. Okay, now I go here to cut the squares and now the pawn is just too fast. Now I, wait, he's trying to be tricky here. Hmm. doing here jeez now I go here takes and c4 I let that get way too close for comfort but I'm still winning all right chat so we win again I have to use the restroom quickly so um uh I'll be right back
<sighs> All right. Okay, you guys. So we win the game. Um, so we are back up to uh, what are we on? Six, seven and a half out of eight. Two rounds to go, playing for first prize. Actually, it looks like it looks like I'm tied for the lead right now. So why am I thirty point seven five? I think this is the tiebreaker they have if you score this game number of points. So yeah. Um, all right, chat. Um, anyway, you guys. Uh, round nine coming up. So yeah, so as I was pointing out, you guys, uh, very, 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 um, very, very inspirational stories. Um, what, what to say? Just, a, just, a, just a great story. Thank you to Magnus Carlton for the three months. Thank you to Poggy for the prime. Thank you to Nicholas Deck for the five dollars. Any good place to play in Arizona as a twenty-year-old PS? You should play Skyrim. Thank you to Appetite Sounds for the prime. Was that my game? Oh, my game's starting already. Jeez, that's that's really, really fast turnaround. Okay, let's go Knight F three. Okay. Um, actually, no, I want to beat him, so I'm gonna play more traditional. I want to beat Vita at this game. I think everybody's on seven and a half, so I'm going to be more traditional this game. Let's go Knight C3. I'm going to play this one. Okay, which one do I want to play is the question. I'm going to play this one and just like E3. Let's bring the bishop out, just castle. So we're tied for the lead right now, chat. So, okay, it's going to go like... Plays rookie eight, which I think is slightly dubious. It's not the correct order because I can play this in ninety five. Okay, again a strange move here. I think I have queen c two. What am I missing? Ah, he. Oh, it's not so easy. Hmm. This makes sense. Just attack the pawn. Okay, c five. I thought I had a four b three here. Let's see. Um, he's threatening to push the pawn, so I have to do something. I think a4 makes sense. Just guard the knight. If he pushes, I move the bishop back, and we're doing well. If he moves the knight up, I maybe move the knight, or I push the pawn to guard, because I have everything in the center of the board here. Okay, let's bishop b7. Another move that feels a little bit weird to me, but maybe I'm insane. I think I should just play like... I don't want to do this. It's kind of hard to find a better move, Cap. Guess I'll just do it. I don't like this move, but I think I should play it. Now I come back. Yeah, this is Vedit. Vedit Gujarati. Um, I'm going to move the bishop back, I think, next move. Uh, wait, not rook f3. Wait, I can take. I can also play bishop e1, d4. I'm just going to play knight e2 here. If he pushes the pawn, I drop the bishop back. I always have a b3 to break the pawns. I probably am going to start attacking pretty soon as well over on the other side of the board. So we'll see what, we'll see what he does here. Okay, moves the rook. I can put the bishop to attack this one, but then he's going to remove the bishop next move. So, I can also capture. I can also push the pawn. So many moves here, so little time. I think I'm going to move the bishop. Try to bring the bishop this way to pressure the knights. I'm still guarding everything. My knights and my pawns are kind of okay. Not great, but kind of okay. Now, if he captures, I probably capture and then capture with the knight. He also has to worry about some stuff being soft once he takes. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Now I can take with a pawn or I can trade. I think I'm just going to take with a pawn. Because I still am threatening to capture because his bishop has no squares. I'm probably going to bring the bishop now. My bishop looks kind of stupid here. They're pawns. It, it's just uh, there's like nothing but air for the bishop going towards this, this square up here on a5. So, okay. Knight b4 does not feel like a good move somehow. It doesn't seem right. I think I should just trade I can also just go I think I'll just drop back and capture he's gonna have to waste move bring his knight back into the game at some point position is probably about e even here so I'm gonna take the queen probably moves the knight I bring my knight in and then like he's gonna try to remove my knight and then I bring the knight back it's very balanced not much happening here I take and take and take, and if he takes, I take and he takes and I take and I win chat. <laughs> right, exactly. Okay, so let's let's be smart. Bring the knight back towards the center. Stop these moves. Can always bring the queen in. Although, actually, what did I do? That was maybe not the best move. I guess I just move my queen. He's gonna remove the knight, but then I bring my knight back or the knight back this way or the knight here as well. So it's it's complicated. Guess if he pushes the pawn, though, maybe I can capture and then capture and then check and then win. 
did he blunder let's see chat did he blunder takes capture capture check wait no no okay takes 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 check this must be good capture on queen b3 because he's going to get a check where he can't block i think i'm winning i think i'm doing well let's see let's see maybe i'm wrong though let's think let's think for a second he can also capture the knight i guess but then i bring the but then if he captures i bring the knight to attack this one from distance and then i bring this one to attack this one and i've got all kinds of ideas with with bunch of bunch of jumbo threats here and he sees it now i mean i don't know if he, okay he does this so i go for the jumbo i can also capture wait i can also capture let's think Okay, knight g5, he has to go e4, then queen h5, then h6. Check, king g8. I don't see it. Hmm. I guess I just take and capture and play the same order, just slightly different. I wanted to go here, but then here, here, he could remove my knight, and I, I didn't see it. Maybe I had something was winning, but I didn't see it. Time doesn't matter, chat, because there's increment. I mean, it does matter, of course, but like it doesn't matter in, in a certain sense. Okay, so I take. I can also t wait, wait, wait. Takes bishop a two, bishop c eight, rook c one, bishop b seven, rook c seven, and I think I'm winning. King f eight, rook c eight, rook e eight, rook c seven. Oh man, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go for it. And go here. And go here, and I hit this. He's got to move the king. Whoa, this is a little bit too bold, I think. I think he's losing now. This is too bold. Maybe it's... I mean, I take... I think this is too bold. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm missing... He goes here, though. And then I bring the king. This has to be winning. Yeah, he does here. Hmm. Yeah. Not sure if this is winning. This might be not cleanly winning. But he's got bad pawns. I've got two pawns in the center here, so I can probably give up a pawn. Let's go here. It's here now. I think I go here. He takes, and I bring my king, and I win the game. Yeah. Two pawns, two pawns, two connected central pawns. GG. Yeah, now he's lost, because he's just lost. Well, he's lost because the position is bad. Not because he's just lost. Okay, now I bring the king in. Let's capture. Capture d5. I push the pawn, bring the king in, and he's juiced. Okay, now I should be careful here. Let's go here, make the check. I think I just bring the bishop back to stop it. Now I push and go here, and he's, yeah. I'll pre move this because it won't happen. Okay, make a check and bring the king in. Also, just this wins as well. Okay, we win again. Up to eight and a half out of nine points. Very nice, very nice game. Uh, I think we jump into a tie for first place right now. You see we're on eight and a half out of nine. I'm going to play Shakar and Yarov in the next game, which will be the last game of the tournament. How's it going, Matt Staples? Big shout out to Matt Staples, one of the um, uh, one of the OGs in poker. Uh, he won 90 grand. Thank you to Andre Andreas Vidal Godoy for the two months. Big shout out to Matt Staples, another streamer. He streams poker. He won 90 grand in the Poker Star Sunday Million, uh, I think two weeks ago, or nine... No, he won 90,000. Sorry, not 90 million, 90,000. Um, 90,000 uh, in the Poker Star Sunday Million. So big shout out to him. He's also a streamer. Make sure to check out his channel when you have time. Uh, first place now, yeah. So we are tied for first place. I'm going to play Mamad Yarov in the next round, which will be the last round. So um, yeah, he won $90 million. Yeah, thank you to uh, thank you to Social Justice Warrior 420 for the sub. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to Shat Schlenk Shatik for the prime. Um, thanks again to everybody. Hope you're all having a great Tuesday afternoon. We, if you're just tuning in, we are playing in the Title Tuesday event on chess.com. Uh, $500 up top. Sorry, it was Party Poker. It's Party Poker, not Poker Stars. Sorry. Um, anyway, thank you to Escron for the 123 bits. Thank you so much. Um, so, so yeah. So he, so as I was saying, you guys, we're playing Title Tuesday. I've got eight and a half out of nine. One more round to go. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the guy in second place for first prize. Um, there's there's five hundred dollars up top, so quite a ways to go. Ninety eight point nine percent. Yeah, that was a good game. How does my hair look so calm? Um, okay. 
Thank you to Lord Pies for the five months. Thank you so much. Um, the winner is, gets $500 in this. It's a weekly event. Um, so one more game to go. Or actually, wait, no, now it's not guaranteed. Someone else jumped up to eight and a half out of nine as well. So it's not clear who I'm going to play. Um, that being said, I am going to play for the win, even with the black pieces. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go for broke, um, regardless. So, so yeah, so we just keep going. Thank you to, uh, Icky76 for 100 bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, what are the best openings well like what i played in this game was a very serious opening normally you see me just move my knight out so um normally what you'll see is that in, in most games like you'll see me just play like knight f3 and b3 and e3 and all this stuff um um and uh and um normally just kind of slow stuff so i decided to be very very straightforward and played serious chess um uh, chat the money gets split so money gets split up at the top um the money money gets split so if we tie for first place i'll get like 250 dollars, and so will the other guy um so we just keep on keep on rolling chat keep on rolling one more to go going for broke black against man of is risky well chat i mean that's that's like saying that that'd be like you know that's like fortnite that'd be like if you watch tifu play fortnite and saying well you know tifu is going to land like five miles away and just like win the game slowly with, with mats and everything when like obviously you land early and try to go for the kill like you have to you have to like oh but i'm not playing Shaq. i'm playing bortnik okay well if i'm playing bortnik 100 percent i'm going for the win um i'm not gonna play the Karo Kong, he will exchange i will play what we normally play in blitz against him let's go for it thanks for the 100 bits oaken nine thank you so much i'm gonna go i'm just gonna go for this no respect yeah okay i'm gonna do what i always do i'm gonna play c6 and d5 i guess actually no i'll play d6 d5 is not the structure i want let's go here and b4 Uh, you want me to yeah drop on the llama exactly chat Dr drop on the llama yeah but anyway that's why i'm saying like again like what's what's the use in like not trying that's just not a, that's not a good attitude to have you got to play you got to go for the win go for the w if you don't get the w so be it but you got to go for the w Okay, he goes bishop e3, so now I play knight d7. I'm gonna play e5 and knight f6. Those are my next two moves. He's probably gonna remove his knight somehow, just so he can build the center and keep it. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna push this. I'm gonna go here. He's gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. He's probably gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go here. It's just a game. It's such a weak mentality. It's just a game. It's just a game, chat. It's a game. Nah. Okay, so I'm gonna go c5, maybe d5 here. Um... So we just keep on rolling, keep on rolling. What am I buying with 500 bones? Well, even if I win this game, there's a chance that, that Azuri Chess will get to nine, nine and a half points too. So there's no guarantee. I'm not even winning in the game yet. So it's a little bit premature to say that. Let's just drop the queen in, I guess. I can capture. If he moves the queen, I don't know, but I'll just take. Um, burn in love. I'm probably going to go c5, c4, and drop the knight here at some point. Like, I'm going to go here. I just have to be careful there are no ideas with, like, check. Okay, but I just slide the king out of the way. There's no pin anymore. King is removed. No threats against my queen. Now I'm going to push the pawns. Um, thank you to Aflat Basketball for the prime. Thanks for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So we just keep going. Okay, moves the rook. I can move the pawn. I think I should. When he pushes, I push, and then I jam the knight here and now I should be happy I've got good knights I've got good structure he's got weak pawns I'm always attacking so I, I like structure okay it goes back now I can push the pawns I guess I can also move my knight at some point I think I don't know if I want to push this one there's got to be something simpler or more realistic I guess I'll just move my knight back if here I take and go a5 Maybe I should have played a5 first because he's got this b4, but I don't think it's really an issue for me at the moment. Um, thank you to uh, thank you to Helios for the hundred bits. Thanks so much. Okay, if he goes here, I'm just gonna j gobble. He's got this maybe. Then I can slide the queen up maybe. Plays a3. Strange move. Um, I think I will bring my bishop back now because f4 I capture and bring the knight in. I want to keep the bishop on this side because it attacks the pawn. But there's no real threat. So now. I think I go here. Attack the knight. Oh, but he can 
jump in maybe? Hmm. Does it? Okay, so I should probably play rook a7. Or I can play queen f8 here. Queen f8 actually? What about queen f8? Looks fine, because now I can't push the pawn to activate the rook in the knight, because then he loses this because the queen guards it. But I also will go here and guard this way and then this way and attack this way and this way. It's a little bit weird position. Also, I can maybe jump with the knight if he ever rem removes from this square, and then my other knight jumps in here. So, of course, I play this. Now, I can play g5, but that looks insane. I can also move the knight now. I can also move the rook. <sighs> What's the move here? <clears throat> Don't necessarily like what I've done here. Feels like I should have moved, like, maybe king g7? Let's see. Knight d3 takes, takes f4, e4. I'm going to play this one. I'm going to go for this jump. If f4 I capture, I thought I could capture here. I can also move the knight. can capture. Hmm. Okay, so I think I capture. Now I think I jump with the knight. Because if he captures, I capture, and then I bring my king, and I attack two things at the same time. Um, I'm also threatening to jump with the pawn, the knight. Everything is very good. The rook is bad. I've got this to remove the defense. I'm way up on the clock too, which is good. It means in the right moment, if I need like to use 30 seconds to solve the problem, I can solve it more easily. So I can push the pawn, but I think I should draw, drop this back, guard this good outpost. Nothing can remove this knight. It's just, it's just really, really good here. Um, I'm probably going to go this move so that my knight can jump back on the square and then go for the same ideas. I assume I go here. Now I'm starting to, now we're starting to jam because now he's going to get removed again where he can't defend. Okay. I go here. He can't capture because he loses again. Okay. Now I'm definitely close to winning. I just have to be careful how I play this. I think I'm going to bring the rook up guard against ideas. Maybe bring my rook here. Okay. Now I can play D2 at any time. I can also push the pawn someday soon. I think I will push. No, I will just go. No, I think I just do this now. Yeah. Okay, now I should play like. I have this move. I have this move. And also take the pawn. So hard to come up with the right move here. I think I'm just gonna. Just gonna play this move. If he captures, I just capture. It's a good move. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, he goes back. That can't be right. I think now I can bring my king up, maybe. Okay, now I capture. Okay, that can't be right either. Okay, so now I'm starting to just outplay him. I just need to be a little bit careful here. Okay, capture. Go here. Give him rook f4, very bad. Oh, but I have h5? Yes, and he can't capture, he loses the knight. I think, okay, I know I'm winning here, just deep breaths. Let's focus and let's win, let's bring this home. So I capture. This rook e5. Yes! There we go. We win the game on time. And we win the game on time. We move up to 9.5 out of 10. So, um, yeah. So, we win the game. 9.5 out of 10. We should watch one other game. Let's watch this game. The only other game that can decide the uh, tournament. Uh, Mamadi Arab is down a piece. He should not win this game. But he might win it. Ooh, this is dicey. Just go. You got to move, Ali Reza. You got to move. Okay, this is very tricky. I don't think he should lose this game, though, because he's up one. Oh, take! Take! Yes! 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 Okay, he's got plenty of time. He should win this game. Just bring the knight back. Take. All right, and there we go. So I think with that we do win the tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I think I win the five. I think I win the 500 stones. Um, we'll see in a second once the there are what? How many games? 
there are still quite a few games going so we'll just wait till the end and i should be winning the bones but we'll see in a second um it looks like it's over right nine and a half nine nine eight and a half yeah i think it's just over so we we do we do we do win the win the sandals um nine and a half out of ten very good result definitely can't complain xqc did this yeah yeah exactly totally this is all because of the the stuff with pvc totally um yeah so I, I i do win i'll just wait for the games to end so we can confirm it 100 percent. but yeah so someone someone earlier was saying like can you can you please win 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 this tournament for once like uh yeah 15k andy yeah so we win this tournament um uh, once the game's end we'll see the standings officially but we win the tournament nine and a half points out of ten and actually it's funny the game that i drew i should have won that game maybe in fact drawing that game was very good because drawing that one game meant that um meant that by i got maybe some slightly easier pairings and then the last round was was really really good i played fantastic chess in the last game especially um so yeah you say that then you again employed the jumbo jambo jambo wambo yeah exactly chat um so so right so okay what's there three games left just waiting for the games to end and then then, then we'll see the uh we'll see the actual score scores officially so just um i owe ali reza 250 dollars for that I, i'm pretty sure that's not how capitalism works chat i'm pretty sure that i i don't owe him money because he helped me out but um or no maybe that is exactly how capitalism works maybe you're right because yeah he did me a solid no sorry in capitalism that is that is how it works right because that's the payoff right chat sorry I'm wrong that is capitalism I'm supposed to pay him off because he because he he did me the solid I'm, I'm confusing my uh, my systems um right 102 IQ yes exactly chat 102 IQ um <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah well yeah because in capitalism isn't that how it works like your friend does you a solid and then they get you I mean they get the payoff right like in, in socialism it's just like he doesn't have to do anything for me I just win the tournament on my own but then I have to give him all my money so um so so yeah anyway yeah big shout out to everybody who's watching i think we we, we are going to win this tournament we are playing the title tuesday tournament on tuesday um so so yeah so i, I win this tournament with nine and a half out of ten i make five hundred dollars i believe let's just okay let's wait for this one last game to end um before we okay this is over okay let's see so i think we're gonna get the standings now let's just get the official standings and um one second and there you guys go there are the standings you see tournament over and i finish in first place with nine and a half points out of ten win win the 500 bones uh two guys finish on second and third ali reza Ferruja, uh finishes on second with nine out of ten and liam lee finishes on third with nine points out of ten so so yeah so we win the tournament um with nine and a half out of ten but obviously we haven't had an I'm, I'm like like xqc like box box and all these guys i'm of course completely whoa thank you to vita chess for the raid with 551 thank you so much to vita chess um so as i was saying uh you guys like 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 pvc like box box um i'm completely addicted to chess so let's uh let's challenge Ferruja and see if he wants to just keep playing